Doe Patrol's here. <laughs> What's happening, guys? What's up, guys? 2022 deer season coming at you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome to, back welcome to the back show. To you. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back. Welcome to back you. to us. Yeah, it is opening day, whitetail uh, here in Texas. Bow season. Bow season, yes, October sir. 1st. Um, if you look around, it doesn't look a whole lot like October. It's like 87 degrees. Yeah. Um, but but this Texas. morning, this morning it was cold enough. So we're out for the afternoon hunt right now. Uh, I wore a jacket this morning. Yeah, both of us did. Well. Okay, you did too. Don't fall in love with me. <laughs> uh, uh, morning hunt was was good. It was good just to get out there. Went out there. Um, alarm went off uh, three. I don't know. It was in the three o'clock hours. <laughs> so that's fun. We we saw some doe this morning. that came in to feed. Saw a spike, but didn't see. There are three pretty good bucks that we're here's, looking for. Here's here's the thing is we set up uh, new setups in both places um, and I think we might have put our blinds too close <laughs> to the feeders. <laughs> I had dough um, as you can see right here. Yeah we're gonna put some videos in here <laughs> but I had two dough uh, just just munch on some corn at 13 yards. I was like that might be a little too close. Luckily I had stealth mode activated and then he said spear yardage when we were setting it up. No, I said, I said bow, bow yardage. No fear yardage is what I said, not spear okay. yardage. All right, well that's um, on you though. But I had uh, ninja mode activated. They did not sense a thing. So, but it was pretty close. <laughs> so uh, hopefully we can have some bucks come in and we can be well, stealthy drawn back. Let's just go through the rationale though of why they're close. All of the feeders are set right now at 20. The feeders are at 20. But we, we laid out some attractant and turns out Mine was laid out at 15 yards and you were at 13, 12, 13, <laughs> apparently. But I screwed it to the back of the blind so it made it like 13 and a half to give me a little, a little breathing room. Well, here's what happened though. Last year we were at like 30 and 25 was our range. And you know we don't have that kind of range to stretch all the way up to 30. And maybe you've seen a video previously of Brandon just missing deer. Too soon? I don't think we showed those videos. Brandon missed deer <laughs> at that range. I have never missed anything. No, no, no. Actually, though, we because we talked to a bunch of you know, a bunch of our buddies that bow hunt that are so many good bow hunters. We know so many people. Well, point is, they suggested having closer shots because um, at thirty, the the one that I'm thinking of, which was a deer that we think is back out here, but the shot that I'm thinking of. Because it was at 30 yards, it gave him enough time to drop about a foot and a half. Yeah, and, and I got duck, it. And duck the shot. But that buck is back this year. We think. Um, you we think. originally named him Crabtree because he had a little crab claw. And Michael Crabtree, Texas Tech, it's a whole thing. Um, <laughs> but I have renamed him Neo because that guy was like ducking bullets. So, ever seen The Matrix? Never heard of her. Okay, well, he's out here. Um, we got a few good shooters we're looking at, so we're really hopeful that uh, one of them cruises past one of our spots today. So we're gonna For be sure. splitting up solo camera work yeah, at so 13 be, yards. Be patient, you might have seen from some of the footage earlier is a little bit. There's also a decent chance we get on some hogs. The hogs have been tearing up these feeders. In fact, this so. morning when we were getting in, it was like a hog rumble in the field right next to where I was on okay, a draw. Okay, look at this. I'm gonna, uh, you're gonna put a picture right here of this hog. It's, it had to be a 300 pound hog eating out of the protein feeder. He's not even like hardly stretching. Not or, even stretching. He's stretch on all fours yeah. eating out of the protein feeder. So I might put a field tip in his ear if he comes around. <laughs> You're gonna sit here and tell us. Ear hole him. So, 
I'm excited. We've said too much. Let's do this. Tiptoe in, stealth mode, hammer bucks, maybe shoot some hogs, in out. I just I just want to let an arrow fly. Mm. Let's do this thing. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>